getting ready for our ATV ride. I've got the Rancher. Carrie's got the King Quad. Lord King Quad. And I'm gonna put you on my head. I knew the name of it, but it's a really hard to pronounce Spanish name. Uh, we, it's the first arroyo coming out of town that we went up. That's the South Arroyo. And uh, it's probably about 15 minutes on the ATVs to get here. Seems like there's water here about 365 days a year. But the environment in front of the falls here, as you go in and out, it's always changing. And the locals will tell you that it doesn't matter if you were here yesterday, something will be different about it the next time you go. So, um, really great drive in. It was a lot of fun, a little dusty. But the falls, I know they're not big, they're not like, you know, humongous, but they're just beautiful and very, very refreshing to sit by. Now we're gonna load up the ATVs. Uh, we actually got the drone up for a little bit, got Bumblebee up in the air and did some, uh, some drone work. Uh, we're gonna get on the ATVs and head back the way we came. Probably hit the, uh, the highway and take a little road to cut across to the North Arroyo. And then we'll go up that Arroyo to uh, another set of falls. So we're here now at the North Arroyo. Riding the ATVs up the, this arroyo was a lot tougher. Uh, real washboardy, it kind of kicked our butts. But man, was it ever worth it. Look how beautiful this place is. The other arroyo, the other arroyo was more granite cliffs, big boulders. This one is just tall trees and green lush bushes. We had to like crawl through weeds to get here. We got to the point where we didn't want to take the ATVs any further out of fear that it was not going to make it. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> 